15-year-old boy in California who's telling us how his father was shot and killed in front of him on a 4th of July trip. Ari and Jack Gershman asked a man for directions last Friday near Downeyville, around two hours north of Sacramento, and then with no warning, the man opened fire and Ari was hit. And that was just the beginning of Jack's ordeal. In an interview you'll only see on CBS This Morning, Jack and his mother tell us their family's new reality still hasn't sunk in. Anna Warner has this story. And I said, where's dad? And he's like, he's been shot. And I said, what do you, what do you even mean? Like, when Paige Gershman received you? text messages from her son Jack on Friday, she says she thought he was sending her videos of scenery from a trip with his dad in California's Tahoe National Forest. But the teen was reaching out with a far more harrowing message. Jack said his father, Dr. Ari Gershman, had been shot and killed by a gunman. My dad suggested that we like ask him for directions. The uh, shooter pulls out a pistol and starts shooting. Uh, and after two or three shots, he was hit. The 15-year-old says he bolted from the car and took off into the surrounding woods near the Poker Flat area of Sierra County. Jack says he got lost, and when he was finally able to call his mom, he barely had reception, and his phone was running out of battery. When my phone died, I had really nothing to do, so I, I prayed. Local authorities say it was more than 30 hours until they were able to locate Jack and reunite him with his family. We all just screamed and hugged and cried, but then it was that relief and we knew that he was okay, but then it was the reality that Ari was not. Later that day, law enforcement detained the suspected gunman, 40-year-old John Thomas Conway. The Sierra County Sheriff's Office says he's suspected of shooting and wounding two other people in a separate attack. The motive for both shootings is unknown. I just hope he spends the rest of his like, miserable life in jail. Now, Dr. Gershman's family is remembering a man they called humble, smart, and generous. He was all about helping others and just so funny and kind he's just my best friend Paige Gershman told us the police are going to be asking her son Jack to look at a lineup today this now widowed mother of three is currently undergoing chemotherapy for cancer a GoFundMe page for the family has already raised more than four hundred thirty thousand dollars Tony just glad a suspect is in custody Anna thank you very much